Hi everybody, it's Vivian with VP3 Arenda, and today I wanted to talk about ways that we can help embrace our divine feminine, to help get our power back, to help embrace that powerful thing that we have. Um, I am going to talk about yoni stones and yoni steams. First of all, um, yoni is another word for vagina, for sacred place, for the womb. Um, let's just go ahead and go with steams first. I just actually got my yoni steams or pack from Amazon. Um, I'll put the link for the ones I got, but it has 48 different herbs in it. I'm not going to go over all of them, but it's a lot. And it says to use one and a half to two quarts of water. You simmer two of the packs of um, the herbs in there for 10 minutes. Then you're supposed to take a spoon and squish the extras. I actually popped one of my bags so some of the herbs got down in the bag. But I feel like it made the, strong, the smell stronger. So, Anyways, and then you're supposed to let your water cool off for like five minutes before you go use your pot or yoni bath or bucket, whatever you have. I actually have a sitz bath um, that I got when I just had, well not just, I gave birth to my youngest. She'll be three in August. So I've had that, held on to that for three years and um, I don't know why, but now I do. Anyways, you just sit it down in your toilet and pour the water. They have um, yoni baths that you can buy. I've seen on Amazon, um, I'm sure other places as well. When I first heard about yoni steams, um, I watched a video on YouTube and the lady, she just had one of those big long boho skirts on and she had a bucket, a five gallon bucket. And um, she might've put the pot down inside of the bucket, I forget, but she kind of just pulled up her skirt and squatted there for however long she squatted. It says on here for 20 to 40 minutes, which is a long time. Um, I think I probably got maybe 25 to 30 minutes before. I, I just can't sit still that long. It's hard for me. So anyways, we'll talk about the yoni steams first. First of all, you should never do a yoni steam if you're pregnant, if you have any kind of infection, if you're menstruating, if you have an IUD implanted, or um, you also need to be careful of the water temperature. Do not use scalding water. I don't think I let mine cool off for a whole five minutes, but um, it was warm. I mean, there, I definitely felt some heat, but it, I never had any scalding or anything where I felt like I had to get up. And I sat on the toilet. I didn't squat that long. Obviously, that would be a great exercise if you um, did. Maybe even alternate. That's a good idea. Maybe I'll try that next time. So anyways, a few things that Yoni Steams help you with are um, improve your menstrual cycle. They help with pain. Um, sometimes us women... Because of the our diets and um, just different things, our body not getting rid of toxins the way that they are. <clears throat> um, our we, our va vaginal canal is another way for us to rid toxins once a month. So we're very blessed and lucky to have that. But sometimes things can get caked up in there and whatnot. And um, I guess you know the steam in there helps to release some of that stuff. It helps with heals your womb. So if you have any kind of like fibroids or cysts or things like that going on with ovaries or whatnot, this is supposed to help. Um, it's just stress. Um, any kind of like, if you had like sexual stuff, um, issues that you feel hold you back from your embracing your divine feminine, doing a yoni steam is relaxing and you know, the herbs and it just helps your well-being and it helps heal some of those inner wounds we might have from maybe sexual abuse or whatnot. But it also is very relaxing. It deeply connects women to their power. So, you know, we all have this huge, powerful feminine power inside of us. And, you know, the divine feminine, the sacred feminine. And, you know, if the more we get in tune with ourselves, the more that we can develop that. And the these tools that I'm sharing with you today, the yoni steams and stones or yoni eggs, um, they're just a few ways that you can help further your spiritual growth, help embrace yourself, help your self-esteem, embrace that power and, you know, a lot of good stuff. It detoxifies the body. Like I said, um, it helps break stuff up that might be, you know, caked in there. I know that, um, learning about colon and whatnot and the stuff that cakes up in there, I can only imagine what is caked up inside of a woman. Actually, I'm gonna put the link down to the Tim Morrow. I, when I did my um, nutrients over food video, I put a link for his, on his website where he talked about colon health. Well, he also has a part on his website where he talks about 
women's health. And he claims that the cellulite that women have is menstrual stuff that doesn't actually go out of our body. It goes down into our thighs and whatnot, and that's where we get cellulite. And if you notice, men do not have cellulite and women do. So I'll put that link down because that's pretty interesting. Um, anyways, it improves your sex life. Um, there's some reasons why that it improves your sex life. You guys can read into that. Um, increases fertility, it helps increase your fertility. So, you know, anybody that's out there trying to have a baby and, you know, going to the doctor and getting medicines or shots or whatnot, maybe this is the um, all natural, you know, thing that you could try to do in place of that. You could try anyways. Um, let's see. It speeds recovery after birth. So after you have a baby, it says to wait at least a week to have after you have the baby to start using it but the heat I know after you have a baby in stitches they say to put a warm um, compress or warm rag it helps you know the blood flow down there and helps heal your stitches so I only imagine you know having the herbs and the steam is going to help um let's see what else I had about yummy steam okay it is an ancient practice they've been doing this for you know a very long time you just so many hidden things we don't know about until you get your head out there starting looking. Um, uses the healing power of plants and the heat to restore balance to our feminine cycles in all life stages. So, you know, you don't have to be just a young lady on that still has a menstrual cycle to do this. You can be older and um, it'll help regardless. All life stages, all ages. Um, let's talk about the yoni eggs, yoni stones. My set I got on Amazon, um, I can't remember how much they were, but they're real gemstones, and so they were, oh no, don't drop it on the ground. They um, were a little bit more expensive, I can't really remember the price, but I'll put the link to the ones that I got too. It comes in a three pack, the black obsidian, rose quartz, and then the jade. And this is obviously the one that you start with, and then as you get, you know, tighter muscles and whatnot you can graduate up or down <laughs> but the black obsidian is it connects with your root chakra so not only are you improving your um pelvic floor muscles tightening your vagina walls and muscles embracing that feminine power that you have inside of you um you also can connect to your root chakra which is huge you know that's the first one so work your way up. <clears throat> I'll read just a little bit of my notes that I have about it. Um, where are you? Okay, the black obsidian. Black obsidian absorbs and banishes negative energy. It connects to the root chakra, giving strong spiritual foundation for further growth. So it's a great way to start. Um, there's also, they give you some wax string that you can, there's a little hole in here that you can, you know, easily pull out <laughs> um i had told my husband that he's banned from commenting on this he just has no filter <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. so anyways then when you strength as you strengthen and tighten you can move down to up to the rose quartz whoopee sorry i get sidetracked on which side the camera's on as you strengthen and tighten, use the rose quartz. It is the crystal of unconditional love. It connects with the heart chakra, helping to heal emotional wounds and improving your ability to give and receive love. So not only can you, you know, balance and work on your root chakra, then you can go ahead and start working on your heart chakra as well. And then the little, the next one is the little guy. Oh, sorry, I'm dropping everything. And it's Jade. In ancient cultures believe jade blesses everything it touches. It's valued for its beauty and healing properties. It is also said to balance and harmonize the heart chakra, boosting your emotional well-being even farther. So I know on my spiritual path, you know, I've done a lot of internal work already. I feel like I've gotten um, emotions, whatnot, mostly under control and whatnot. I feel like I don't have that judgmental um, negative attitude where I'm, you know, let those lower vibrating things bother me but I do know that I need to work on balancing my chakras and um so I'm excited to start using my yoni stones more often and doing that <clears throat> but let's see what did I write, write about 
Okay. They can heal your soul, remove negative energy. Exercising with yoni stones can be a fun and pleasant sensation. It has been shown to improve vaginal tightness dramatically when compared with normal pe pelvic floor exercises. And I think that too, I know like <clears throat> having a lot of back pain, well, I guess I can't really stand up and, anyways, but having a lot of back pain and whatnot, you think like, I know I've got, psh, I got a kangaroo pouch on there guys, I've got to start doing some stomach exercises and get rid of it. So I can only imagine how things are out of whack down on my, in my, there. And so I know my pelvic floor is not healthy and what it should be. So. I know that using the um, yoni stones with doing the Kegel exercises um, really helps with that. So I know that I'm going to start doing more of that. Um, I think that's almost it that I have to talk about on here. But I hope that you guys um, learned something from this video and get in touch with that divine feminine we need you guys all right well peace out have a good day